Hello Cancer, this is Debs and this is your reading, oh my goodness, for November 2023. We're coming to the end of the year guys, I don't know how it happened but uh, there we are. Cancer, um, <laughs> I had to chuckle to myself because I was running around my kitchen with a coffee and I was thinking, okay, Archangel Michael, what do we have for Cancer? And out of nowhere, I heard the first few lines of a song that no joke I think I heard when I must have been five or six years old. I remember my parents having a really old LP and they really liked it. And it's something about, and don't laugh at me guys, it's something about wombles, wombling. <laughs> I'm sorry, it may sound crazy. I'm hearing something about... Don't slip on the banana or something like that. I think years ago it was a children's series or a children's film that was all about cleaning up Wimbledon Common, the, the, wom the Wombles of Wimbledon, I think. And there might have been like a rock song or sort of reggae type song about slipping on a banana. Anyway, I heard the first few lines of this song and then Michael showed me a vision of a guy walking down the street on his phone and he wasn't looking where he was going and he actually slipped on a banana skin on the pavement and he righted himself and he was really embarrassed oh god I can't believe it. I looked like such an idiot right and he thought it's okay nobody saw me nobody saw me it's okay I've got away with it and then at the end of the street this little boy ran out from around the corner and taunted him and pointed at him. I saw you slipping on that banana. You didn't think any was. I saw you slipping on that banana. And he was really cross. And he took this little kid to one side and he said, oh, for goodness sake, look, I've got a reputation to, to keep up. You know, don't go around telling people I've made an ass of myself slipping on this banana skin, right? And then the vision ended. <laughs> so, cancer, I don't know whether or not Someone's made literally a slip up and they didn't think anyone noticed, but somebody did. I don't know whether or not somebody doesn't want to look like a fool. I'm not sure whether or not this is a serious thing or just something a bit trivial, but someone here is afraid of losing face. Someone saw something that they didn't think anyone saw and they're worried it's going to get around. I'm now hearing that Beach Boys song, Get Around, Get Around. I get around. Oh, I get around. Oh, okay. I get around. Um, Does somebody have a few partners and they don't want people to know I get around, right? Okay, Cancer. I'm really feeling this is absolutely not you. I could be connecting with a masculine Cancerian, sure. I don't know, but let's find out and see yeah I've got that song in my head oh la 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 hey banana don't you slip on the skin wow god guys it sent me right back and that's so weird because I haven't heard that for wow I don't know 30 years anyway anyway guys you will know in the comments you'll probably tell me what that's all about here we go so oh, finally, guys, three hours later, Archangel Michael, ooh, hangman. Is somebody seeing someone from a new perspective? Is somebody linked to a Pisces? Okay. Somebody saw someone else slip up and this person thinks they got away with it, but they haven't. Okay. So Archangel Michael, what do we have for my lovely Cancerians? Sun in Rising Venus. This is November 2023. I wanted to turn it over, Nine of Cups. Someone here is being overindulgent. Or somebody was overindulgent, but they thought somebody else didn't notice. Hmm. Hmm, okay. 
don't know why, I'm now seeing somebody hiding a massive box of chocolates in a cupboard. This is all symbolism, guys. I think we've got someone here, Cancer, who you may have been dating, you may have been even married to, living with, who might have a lot of options on the side, somebody who gets around, right? But they may be doing it on a different turf. But somebody saw something. Did I cut the debt, Michael? He's saying I did. Okay. All right. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Deception here, guys. Someone did something sneaky. The Empress. Someone did something sneaky. Someone stepped out on an empress. Or guys, I have to say, you could be the empress. You could have done something sneaky. But, you know, my Cancerians aren't normally that way inclined. I'm not saying you're all sweet and innocent. But, you know, a Cancer's pretty faithful, pretty loyal. Hmm. In the past, Eight of Cups... Walking away from options. Five of Wands. Cancer, you may have been thinking about walking away from someone because there was a lot of drama. Maybe you were fed up feeling this person is hiding something, but you couldn't quite pinpoint it. Yeah, Six of Swords. Somebody here is moving to calmer waters, and I feel, Cancer, it's you. I think you are somebody's empress, or you could simply be a slightly older woman. The empress is normally over 40, who found out about some deception. You may have thought about leaving someone in the past, Cancer. There was a lot of conflict. You may have decided to take them back. You may. Or you were in your head about someone, but you couldn't call them out because you had no proof you may be getting proof in the future emperor yeah we got a couple here emperor empress now i could of course be dealing with a masculine cancerian this is normally your energy cancer and we got the emperor whose wife has been sneaky sure let's carry on let's see what you're fearing, Cancer, is that something is going to be remaining hidden. In the environment, the King of Swords. I'm either dealing with a Cancerian masculine who has a secret double life, dating men, but they're married to a woman. Somebody who didn't have the courage in coming out. Maybe this has been a closely guarded secret for a long, long time. I just couldn't bear to tell my wife I was bisexual, right, or I was gay. Um, or Cancer, you are a masculine and you know that your wife has been unfaithful to you. You're, you're finding proof. She may have been having a fling with a king of swords. Wow. What you're hoping is that you can get over the pain of the deceit. You may be hoping that everything's just going to work out. But cancer, someone saw something and it put the cat amongst the pigeons. It's caused drama because people may have got to know there could have been rumours two of swords and you may be cutting someone out of your life cancer wow wow pushing down your feelings about this clarification for you four of cups you haven't been happy in a situation for quite a long time cancer six of cups and you've been thinking about somebody from your past hmm. whoever is sat Dealing with the King of Swords is also looking at the past. Yep, 
Leo energy. But this person is holding back from the past. Underneath the deck, page of cups. Okay, there's going to be an apology. Someone here was overindulgent and there's going to be an apology. Or there was an apology. Four of Swords. There needed to be a time of healing and contemplation. Page of Pentacles. There could be issues here or thoughts about staying in a relationship due to the fact that there are children. Or someone could have put another person in the friend zone, but it might have turned into an affair. Or somebody may have said that somebody was just a friend when actually they weren't. Temperance. Sagittarian energy. Somebody's been coasting and healing. Now, we may also have someone in the environment who is seeking legal advice quietly, having looked at the past and trying to find the courage to take action. Wow. OK, Cancer. All right, guys, I had to stop the camera for about five minutes and just look at these cards because we have a lot of heavy energy on the board. Cancer, I am dealing with a married couple. Initially, um, I feel cancer, you're the masculine in this. You really struggled from walking away from somebody from your past. Now, this could have been a childhood sweetheart, could have been an ex-girlfriend that you knew for a very long time. There might have been an affair that happened in the past with an ex-cancer. But you were found out, and I think there was a lot of conflict about this, and you patched up your marriage. What is happening now, in the next, I would say, two to three months, this can be two to three months worth of energy, your empress, you're going to find cheating with somebody herself. And I think what you're realising, Cancer, is, is that... This whole marriage is a sham. You should end this. Because you're both in love with other people, right? You constantly look at the past. You walked away from someone that you regretted walking away from. You may have reconnected with an ex-girlfriend from years back. But you were found out, so you had to end it. Your partner in turn out of revenge or because they were interested in somebody themselves, they have been conducting an affair with a king of swords. You're feeling very discontent looking at the past. And your person, your empress, is also with the seven of pentacles looking at the past and holding back. Possibly holding back being intimate with you, physical with you. I can't see a lot else, guys. It's YouTube, right? So this has been a pretty cold partnership. Both of you have cheated on each other. And I think cancer is getting to the point now where you have really had enough. I don't actually think either person was to blame. Because cancer, you may have stepped out on your empress in the past. Because you were in love with an ex. Maybe you felt you married the wrong woman. You should have married somebody else 20 years ago. I'm not connecting with a young Cancerian. I think I'm connecting with a Cancerian masculine who is possibly in his 50s or 60s. Okay. Cancer, you are still in love with a woman from your past that you cannot get over. And I think your empress is having an affair with a King of Swords, an Aquarius Libra Gemini, possibly younger than her. She's coming through as an Empress. This is a King. I think Cancer, with the energy of the Emperor, you're ready to take control, to do the right thing. And I believe you're going to be talking to your Empress about divorce. I don't think there's anything either of you can say or do at this point. You were found out in the past by your Empress. You're now realising your empress is having an affair on you. And I feel that both of you are in love with other people. 
So I think this is going to come to a natural close. It may well be that this Empress with the Seven of Swords didn't want you to notice something. She could have slipped up, right? The image of that little boy, maybe there was a grandchild here or a young child who saw something, saw somebody's phone, saw somebody entering a building or something like that. And the person that was being sneaky, which I have to say, guys, I'm sorry, was possibly the wife in this current energy, may have tried to shush this child. No, Donnie, don't be so stupid. Of course you didn't say anything. Oh, wow, no, that was just a friend of mine, right? But something's come out here. And I think, Cancer, you're taking charge. So, people, my goodness, let's get into this reading. So, we've got the Empress and the Seven of Swords. Cancer, I think your Empress is having a fling with the King of Swords. And you are deciding to do something about this, to end the situation. I think you feel it's just done. Yes. You're making a judgment call to end the situation. Now, you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Libra or a Sagittarian in particular. I think you are making the judgment call to put a final end to this relationship. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you have decided to move into full divorce. You've decided the sun because something came to light. And what you realised was both of you were living a lie. I think you never forgot somebody from your past. And your empress has been hiding the fact that she's been having a fling with a king of swords. So I think what you're realising is if we both just want our happiness with other people, why are we staying in this marriage? It's ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous. How is cancer feeling? Yeah, five of cups. Cancer, you're not happy. And what's come to light is that your wife has been having a fling. So what you're realising is... We've got to end it. I mean, there's nothing else for it. This is ridiculous. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. This could be a very quick reading, guys. Ace of Swords is, well, all right, so I think we should buy the bullet. I think we should move into divorce. Again, I'm feeling that nobody here is to blame. But I feel that both of you, at this point, realise you're in love with other people. Your wife forgave you in the past for having an affair, Cancer. You may have had to walk away from someone that you're in love with because you couldn't bear to go through divorce. Your wife, I think, then had her own fling. It might have been out of revenge with this King of Swords. And that's come to light. So what you're thinking about is, this is crazy. We should just end this. We should end this. So Cancer, who did you walk away from in the past with the Eight of Cups? Who did you walk away from? Somebody that you were passionately messaging? Could have been a younger fire sign. Who were you messaging in the past? Somebody sat in the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So this may be a very complicated story, Cancer. You may have got back in contact with an ex-girlfriend from years ago who possibly got divorced or somebody who never married. You two had a fling, but I feel that you ended up walking away from that because you couldn't bear to divorce your empress. You couldn't bear to divorce your empress, Cancer. It was just too much of a big deal. Yeah, but with a nine of wands, you really struggled in making that decision to end an affair because you were in love with this other woman. After that time with the five of wands, there was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of conflict. Yes, within a long-term marriage situation. When your empress found out that you were having an affair with somebody from your past. I think with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, you two managed to patch things up, but things were never the way they were before. There were cracks in the foundation. There were cracks in the foundation. Yeah. But there was an apology for heading off and doing something a bit impulsive. 
You could have gone back to an ex who was an Aries, but not necessarily. Your Empress could be an Aries. But there was a sense of let's try again. Let's work this out. Let's leave this situation in the past. And I think for a time it worked. With the Six of Swords, what you're looking at now is all the effort, time and money you put into the marriage. You're simply wanting a calmer life, a happy life with no drama, no lies, no deception, no brushing things under the carpet. And I think what you're realising, Cancer, is for the rest of your life, you just want to be happy. You want to go back to this woman from your past that you're still in love with. And you believe that your empress is in love with this king of swords. So, I think there's going to be a lot of talk about the foundation. Okay, wow, ten of pentacles. There's going to be a lot of talk about the financial aspects of ending this relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Six of wands. It may be for a long time, both of you wore false masks. Both of you wanted to be the bigger person, to look as if they were the innocent party. Nobody was innocent here, Cancer. You cheated on your wife. She cheated on you. Both of you want to be with other people. So I think what's going to happen is there's going to be a very happy, speedy, amicable divorce. Okay? Yeah. I mean, this is simple, guys. This is simple. Knight of Wands, because both of you stepped out on each other. No one person is to blame. We're not going to go into, well, you did it before me and all that kind of thing. Because it's just being picky. At this point, where you both stand, I think, is got to the stage where neither of you want to be in this marriage anymore. And you're the one to be taking control, Cancer. With the energy of the Emperor. So when do we have the energy of the Emperor and the King of Swords for my Cancerians? Thank you Michael. Do we have timing? Thank you. Okay guys I'm here in January. I'm sorry I know it's November but I feel as if you two may I'm hearing painfully step around each other until January. It could be for the sake of children who may now be older, but it could be for the sake of kids. We don't really want to tell the kids we're divorcing just before Christmas, right? Could be something to do with that. Or it could be that both of you want to ride out the rest of the year and really think about stepping into a new year and whether or not you're doing the right thing. But I think you're deciding, Cancer, to end this. And I have to say, I think your partner is thinking about moving forward with a King of Swords, or she may be agreeing with you. Let's speak to a divorce lawyer, right? Okay, so let's have a look at your energy cancer. What are you going to be saying to your Empress? Yeah, the Tower. So Cancer, what you're going to be saying to your Empress is, look, I found out through the grapevine, or somebody told me, or one of the kids saw, that you potentially have been stepping out on me, being unfaithful to me with his King of Swords. It was a bit of a shock to me. I, I didn't expect that, but I don't blame you. I had a fling on you too in the past. We both know that. And I think what you're going to be saying to your Empress is it's time to end this. Oh, wow. It's time to close out the chapter. It's time to end the cycle of both of you wearing a false mask, the world. We just need to close this out. I feel a very calm energy coming from you, Cancer. I don't think there's going to be a lot of conflict, drama. Your Empress knows that you possibly found out, or you're going to tell her you found out. You cheated on her in the past, and I think it's very simple. Both of you are deciding to call this a day. What is Cancer going to be saying to their Empress? Two of Pentacles. We're going to have to juggle money a little bit. But since I juggled you with somebody and you were unfaithful to me with somebody else, then I think we call it quits. Yep. We both cheated. Ace of Wands. We both cheated. 
Queen of Wands, I know you stepped out on me. You sat in the Queen of Wands, you had your fling with the King of Swords, you may still be seeing your King of Swords. I met a Queen of Wands in the past that I fell for. I never really actually got over her. And I'm so sorry, but um, this is somebody that I want to start a life with. And so I think we are moving into legal separation. I think we're moving into legal separation. I want to end this situation with you so I can transform my life to be with my Queen of Wands. King of Pentacles, I've got the money to be generous with you. It's okay. But I will probably want to move forward and commit to this Queen of Wands. Because I'm in love with her. Two of Cups. I'm in love with my Queen of Wands. So what is your Empress going to say? Ace of Cups, okay. All right. Let's call it quits. I'm in love with a King of Swords, an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. That's why I've been holding back from being intimate with you. Because I've been thinking about my King of Swords. I've been intimate with him. I've been looking at the past. I've been looking at everything that I invested in this marriage. But I'm ready for a, a new start. I want new love. Wheel of Fortune. I'm ready for a new cycle too. Eight of Wands. I'm going to be messaging my King of Swords to say that now we can be together openly because I've arranged that we are going to be divorcing. I will let him know. I'm going to be also moving into a new relationship, possibly moving from the area. And I'm going to be building a new foundation with my King of Swords. Wow. Wow. What is the energy between the Emperor and the Empress? The Ten of Wands. Both of you have come to the end, a natural end, of this relationship. And I think it's done. So Cancer, you're going to be pushing down your feelings with the Two of Swords. You're going to be moving through the divorce process. And with the Three of Cups, I think you are wanting to embrace change. Looking out across that vista, waiting for your ships to come in with your Queen of Wands, who I don't think you ever forgot. Could have been a childhood sweetheart, could have been somebody you met 10 years ago, but you definitely reconnected. She either divorced or she never got married with the Nine of Pentacles. And I think you two are coming together. Five of Pentacles. So you're going to go from the Ten of Pentacles to the Five after giving your wife settlement. You may be wanting to rebuild your money. Magician, I think you're going to be manifesting coming out of the cold and moving into a beautiful new relationship. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. I think this is you hanging on to your money. Four of Wands, your Empress may get the house, or you could be hanging on to the hope of starting a new stable life with this Queen of Wands from your past. You may be talking about moving in together. Justice, you're both going to bring balance to each other's lives by both agreeing to this, you know. Let's not fight about the little things. I'm in love with somebody else. You're in love with somebody else. Let's just call it quits, right? This is going to be a very speedy, simple divorce, I feel. Both of you agreeing quite quickly to the terms and conditions of the settlement. There's definitely a property that's going to be awarded to someone in a legal case. You're going to be hanging on with the Four of Pentacles to the rest of your money, Cancer. But I think you're going to be heading towards someone that you've always wanted to be with. It just didn't work out in the past. King of Cups. Yeah, Cancer, you are in love with someone else. Now, this person, this other woman could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo Sag. She could be a Libra. 
but I think you are determined this is going to be a smooth process because both of you agree. Three of Cups. You're going to be reuniting with your Queen of Wands and you're going to be saying, I've always loved you. I never forgot about you. I couldn't do anything in the past because I felt I needed to hang on to my marriage. But I found out my wife was cheating on me and I realised at my stage of life, which is what I'm hearing, so you're an older man, Cancer, at my stage of life, why am I staying in a place where I'm very unhappy? So this is going to be you celebrating with your Queen of Wands and building a life together. Building a life together, Cancer. It's as simple as that. The star, Aquarian energy. You're going to get your wish come true and you're going to heal. What's going to happen to your Empress? Well, Chariot, she may want to wait until you found somewhere else to live. She could be retaining the family home. But she's going to see you leave. This is your Cancerian energy. And I think she is going to move towards this King of Swords, who she fell for. Yes, she's in love with her King of Swords. Wow. The Lovers. Yes, this is a very strong soul tie between your Empress and her lover. Now, if he's a King of Swords, he could well be a Gemini. But I feel the two of you are going to be embracing your individual happiness, you know. Queen of Pentacles. You may make your Queen of Wands a committed partner quite quickly after divorcing. This is you wanting to lock her down. Bless her heart, she may have been waiting for years for you to make a decision to leave your partner. And finally, now you are, so you two can be together. If she's not a fire sign, she could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. But there's celebration, I have to say, Cancer, for both of you. You know? Cut and dried. So Cancer, let's get a little bit of advice from the divine. But I think this is you taking charge. And both of you are going to be moving forward with the people that you love independently. Here we go, guys. Stacey DeMarco, what have you got, please? <laughs> okay. A change in the wind. Yeah, there's going to be change. Here and now. You're looking at how you feel right now. With a three and a two, which is five, both of you are realising that you're not happy in this relationship. And because of that, very simply, you're deciding to make a change. Come to the edge. I think you've realised, looking at things from an external point of view, that it's crazy to continue in a marriage where you're both unhappy, in love with other people. It's crazy. You've realised that you really need to think about taking that leap. Yeah, interesting. Exchanging gifts, I feel in a strange way that both of you are giving each other the gift of freedom to be happy with other people. This is a very mature couple who have simply decided it's time. It's time. It's time. Yes, it's going to be a very peaceful parting. I don't think that you are going to have a lot of problems in bashing out the details of this settlement. I think you're going to be generous and I think your partner's going to be amicable and happy to accept what you offer. Thinker. Cancer, you've been thinking about this for a very long time, but you're fed up with thinking about it. It's now time for action. And I believe you're going to be moving forward and committing to a Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, an independent woman who may have been in love with you for a long time and building a brand new life. 
So, my lovely Cancerians, a short but sweet reading. I hope that it's helped you. As always, take care of you. Send any love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.